Chris Rodinas, Research Analyst for IT Creations, and today we will be looking at benchmarks for the Z1 workstation from HP. For each benchmark, we use the same Z1 workstation, BIOS version 2.08, with a Quadro 4000M GPU with NVIDIA driver version 311.15, Four sticks of 8GB ECC 12800E RAM for a total of 32GB, a 500GB RAID 0 volume using two 256GB HP Micron SSDs, and Windows 7 64-bit professional set to best performance. We tested six different Intel Xeon E3-1200 processors, as well as the i7-3770K, the i7-2600K, and the i5-2500 Intel processors with hyper-threading enabled when available, each tested using Cinebench 11.5 Sandra Light 2013 SP3, Spec APC Maya 2012 with Maya 2013 Spec View Perf 11.0, and Passmark Performance Test 8.0. Here are the results running Cinebench 11.5 and as you can see the Intel Xeon E3-1280 had the best performance mark for the Xeon processors with a 7.03 and the E3-1275 coming in second with a 6.85. The i7-3770K came in first over the 2600K and the 2500 with a score of 7.48 which is greater than the Xeon E3-1280 by 0.45 points. Next we ran Sandra, which tests the overall performance of the workstation, and like before, the Xeon E3-1280 came out on top with an overall score of 9.34 KPT, and the i7-3770K came out with a score of 9.99 KPT, 0.55 greater than the 1280. Now, testing with Maya 2013 with Spec APC Maya 2012, we can see that the E3-1280 had the highest CPU score, but a lower GFX score than the E3-1275 that performed slightly higher than the 1280, but again, the 3770K performed higher with a 2.36 GFX and a 3.99 CPU rating. Using Passmark 8.0, we can actually see that the E3-1270 ranked the highest out of six Xeon processors tested with a score of 4,135, and the i7-3770K ranked a bit higher with a score of 4,429.3. Remember that performance may vary, especially in real-world situations. Well, that's all for the Z1 Benchmarks. We hope this video has been helpful. And if you want to know more information, feel free to visit us online at itcreations.com or call us at 800-983-5318. I'm Chris Rodinas, and we'll see you next time.